Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming Banter. Today we are checking out the recently released Artara Yo NES Pi 4 750GB image for the Raspberry Pi 4 and in particular for the NES Pi 4 case. Before getting into the image overview, I wanted to mention a few things when first booting up most images. The first time you boot up, the software needs to set up a few things, such as resizing the disk partition. You need to let the Raspberry Pi do its thing and be patient, as in most cases all you will see is a blank screen. The time it takes can depend on the size of your storage, for example resizing a 250GB partition to a 1TB and also the speed of the storage. So just be patient, let it run for 15 minutes or so. It may reboot the Pi a couple of times in between and it should boot up to the Retro Pi with no issues. The NES Pi 4 image is 750 gigs, so you will need a suitable size micro SD card or SSD. Check out my link in the description for a cheap 1TB SSD which I use in all my videos and never add any issues. The build is set up for the NES Pi 4 case, but there is no reason why you can't use it with other cases, although you may need to change the safe shutdown scripts. The author has overclocked it to 1750MHz just to be safe and you can if you wish to increase this to 2000MHz if you have a good case fan. Let's take a look at the systems and their games that are available. In total there's 15,099 games. On 3DO there's 25 games. For arcade games, there's 1,609. Capcom Play System 1, 29 games. Play System 2, 38 games. Play System 3, 6 games. Sega Naomi has 70 games available. The Atomus Wave has 18 games available. Atari 2600 has 983 games. Atari 5200 has 70 games. And the 7800 has 58 games. The Atari Jaguar has 57 games. And the Atari Lynx has 78 games. The Fairchild Channel F has 30 games available. ColecoVision has 190 games. The Intellivision has only 9 games. The Sega SG-1000 has 83 games. And the Sega Master System has 393. The Game Gear has 377 games available. The Sega Mega Drive has 1016. Sega 32X has 35 games. Sega CD 153 games. Sega Saturn has 58 games available. The Sega Dreamcast has 207 games. MSX has 390 games and the MSX2 has 82 games. Neo Geo has 195 games and the CD version has 89 games. The Neo Geo Pocket Mono has 9 games available and the color version has 81 games. The NES has 720 games. 
the Famicom as 901 games and the Nintendo Disk System as 77 games the Super Famicom as 1107 games and the Super Nintendo 828 the Satellaview as 63 games available The Nintendo Safari has 19 games available. The Nintendo 64 has 303 games. And the Nintendo Game & Watch has 98 games. The Virtual Boy has 25 games available. The Pokemon Mini has 10 games available. Nintendo Game Boy 1197 and the colour version 788 the Game Boy Advance has 972 games and the Nintendo DS 727 the PC Engine has 285 games and the CD-ROM for it has 115 the Super Graphics has 5 games Turbo Graphics 16 has 99 games and the Turbo Graphics CD has 96 games. The PC FX has 96 games available. The Sony PlayStation has a massive 737 games. We won't go through the entire list as it's quite long. The Sony Minis has 289 games. Scum VM has 72 games and they've all got their own uh, menu entry. The Victrix has 25 games available. Wonderswan Mono has 106 games and the colour version has 88 games. So overall there is a good number of systems and games with the duplicate games removed and games that do not run well also not included. There are a lot of PlayStation and Dreamcast games which will please many people. There have not been massive improvements to the performance of emulators over the past few months so we will check out a few systems and games. Generally the performance levels are much the same as what you would find on any recent Raspberry Pi 4 build. For the Atari Jaguar I tried a few games and some run ok and some are slow. To be honest there's only a few games worth playing so you're not missing out on much. Dreamcast overall runs very well and I tried a number of games with no issues. Nintendo 64 is overall quite good but there's still a few games that do not run at full speed. I usually have F-Zero running and when I tried it the audio was very laggy. The Nintendo DS is a mixed bag of what works and doesn't work. Many games are playable though so it's definitely worth checking out. PlayStation has been working great for some time now. There's over 700 games to explore and enjoy so yeah just get stuck in. Sega Saturn again is a mixed bag, uh, some games working great and more the sort of 3D style games will run a little bit laggy, but yeah there's some pretty good games in this so check them out. 
For the PSP, performance is much the same in recent months, so you will find games that work great, and some, such as God of War, that are not enjoyable. So that is a quick overview of the NES Pi 4 750GB image for the Raspberry Pi 4. I found it very fast to use, navigate and to load up games. There's a good number of systems and games for them, especially with the CD based systems. I did not experience any issues with the image, everything was set up nicely and worked first time for me. This is definitely an image to check out if you have a NISPI 4 case in particular, but any setup will work fine with it. That wraps up this overview of the Rosby Pi 4 image. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date with future releases and also to help grow the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.